Hey, what's up, everybody? Hit that subscribe button, grab a seat, and welcome to our sixth episode of Draco Music TV, where you can watch all of the latest interviews and more from the Mississippi Gulf Coast, hottest emerging independent artists, hosted today by me, Lila Moore. Draco Music TV aims to shed light on all of the hardest working independent music artists. Starting this week off right, we have Nezwaz, N-E-S-W-A-H-C. What's up, man? What's going on? How y'all doing today? All right, all right. Um, first of all, I just want to thank you for taking the time to do an interview here with Draco Music TV. We appreciate you taking your time to come do that. It's no problem. Thank y'all for having me. No problem. All right, let's get it. Now, um, I got a couple of questions that your fans want to know. Um, first of all, what first got you into music? Um, you know, as a kid, I was always like listening to music, like even when I had a little tablet, you know, I didn't have a phone back then. I was always listening to music, you know. One of my friends showed me this artist named uh, NF, mm -hmm. and uh, I just started listening to his music, and um, eventually, you know, <clears throat> my original dream was to be in the NBA, but, you know, that kind of changed over the years because God started putting uh, these lyrics in my mind. I would write them down as a young kid. I had no format, but I would still write them down and all that stuff, and so as, as I uh, started writing over the years, I just developed more and more and more. Okay. Until I got in high school, and then I started releasing on YouTube, and it just became a thing, you know. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, um, who inspired you to make music? Did, did NF inspire you? Was that your oh, inspiration? All the way. NF, and uh, I discovered a couple more artists, uh, such as Dax and um, Tom McDonald. So those, okay. th those three artists were, like, the main inspiration behind Okay, know. okay. Good artists. And shout out to NF and uh, Tom McDonald. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, how would you describe the music that you create, like, if you had to put in a genre? Uh, storytelling slash lyrical. Okay, all, all right, way. all right. True. Now, um, what is your creative process like? Like, where does your lyrical content derive from? Like, when you go in to write a song, how does that come to you to go on paper? Um, usually, I just think about stuff I go through or if I'm in the middle of going through something. Mm -hmm. Um, best way to get it out, uh, I used to just put it down on paper because, you know, at, at home, I didn't really like to talk to my parents about what I was going through. So I just yeah. put it down on my phone or on a piece of paper, you know, yeah. try to make it something so I can let people know how I'm feeling without actually telling them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's, so. that's a good way. Um, yeah, a lot is. of artists do that. <clears throat> and it's also a better way to, you know, get people to understand you more. That's oh, right, yeah. that's right. All right, now, um, next question. Now, who would you most like to collaborate with if it could be um, independent or signed? Uh, definitely would be independent. Um, I think I would like to collab uh, with other artists within the company that y'all have here. Uh, also, big goal is uh, NF, my top goal right here, is okay. collab with him. So. Okay. Now, if you could open a show for any artist, who would it be? I'd say, um, I'd say switch it up. I'd, I'd open for Dax, you know. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. Now, um, what is one message that you would give to your fans? Speaking to your fans right now, what would you tell them right now? I would say, um, I have it on my live screen here. It says, let your faith be bigger than your fears. You know, um, you, you have, you have a... A lot of stuff that you go through, but don't don't let the stuff that you go through define you. Yeah. Don't let the past define you either. Yeah. You know, if if you're going through stuff and you can't get it out, find a way. There's always a way to get it out. That's whether right. it's running, drawing, writing lyrics, making music, yeah. you got to find that way to get it out. Because if you don't, it's going to overtake you Most and right. change you. That's right. I know from experience. That's so. right. That is very very much right. Now, also, I forgot to ask you. You want to tell your fans where they can find most of all your music at? What's the number one platform you got right now? YouTube. I didn't. I didn't uh, find how to get on um, Apple Music, Spotify until later on. So all um, most of my songs are all on YouTube. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Now you guys, you heard that. You can check Ms. Waz out on YouTube. Um, just type that name in. You see the name on his hat. N e s w a h c. Yes. All right. Now. Um. Now, what would you be doing right now if it wasn't for music? I can answer that straight out with a confidence. I don't know what I'd be doing. Just going home, going back to work and going back home, playing video games, not really produ productive wise. Yeah. I'd just be, I feel like I, I, I would be lost without my music because yeah. God's the one who gave me the gift. Yeah. You know, like I said before, I wanted to be a basketball player, but 
And I got in a car accident when I was seven. Okay. And so that ended up God taking basketball away from me, but he also gave me the music. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't know where I'd be without music. Music is God's way of talking to me. Man, that's yeah. good. That's that's a good. Um, yeah. Basically, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't, if you like, you say, "Well, this is all I know. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna do." So that's good. Yeah. That means you're putting your hundred percent into doing this. Ain't good at it. Very, I appreciate that. Very, very appreciate that. that. Now let's talk about this song. Um, it's unreleased right now. Um, it's gonna be on a mixtape, September the seventh. <laughs> Mississippi Gulf Coast hottest independent emerging artists uh, in the Mississippi Gulf Coast region, guys. Let's talk about the song Unexpected. <laughs> That's right. Um, tell all us how you got the inspiration behind creating that song. <laughs> that's, that's that's very easy, um, very detailed as well. Um, so ever since I started making music, releasing music, I show people my songs. And most of the responses I always got, even on the comments on YouTube, would be like, this is trash, you know, wow. this, this is sad, this is depressing. And uh, I'm just telling them, like, look, dude, this is stuff I go through. You know, it's, not, it's how I talk and how That's I get right. stuff out. Right. So over the years, I kind of built up that frustration of people saying, this is sad and depressing. So mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I'm going to make something that's unexpected, something they're not going to expect. Wow. So when they hear it, they're going to be like, is this even you? I'm going to be like, yes, it is. But you, when I sit here and act like, all I do is make sad songs, and I'm going to show you that yeah. I can also talk about what I go through, but make something unexpected that you wouldn't expect. Yeah. Wow, wow. And that's where the name originated from. Exactly, right. unexpected. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. You guys heard that, Unexpected. Coming out soon on the Mississippi Gulf Coast Hottest Emerging Independent Artist Mixtape. Stay tuned, it's on September the 7th when it drops. All right, now, um, my next question is, now how do you feel that the internet has impacted the music business? Do you feel that it has hurt the music industry or helped? Because that's pros and cons. What is, what is your opinion on that? Um, I feel like it's a, for people that used to try to get their music out, like Eminem, you know, or NF. Yeah. Uh, they would just go through high school passing out their CDs and all that stuff saying, hey, That's right. you know. But now as technology has advanced, you know, it gives artists the opportunity to get the music out, such as TikTok and Facebook. Yeah. And, you know, right. I see a lot of different artists on TikTok, you know, just showing their music, trying to get it out. I, I mean, I just saw a 16-year-old blow up off of a song trying to sound like Lil Baby. Yeah. So, I mean, really? like, <laughs> yeah, he posted on TikTok and then he posted on YouTube, which blew up. And I'm just like, wow. you know. Wow, wow. That's, wow. How, that's how I be, man. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what is one of your favorite songs that you like to perform? One of your songs. <laughs> you get to just pick one favorite. Man, that's, that's tough. Um, I would say Unexpected, but that's not released yet, so I haven't performed that one yet. Mm -hmm. um, I would say I Can Relate is a really good one I can, that I, I like to okay. perform. And that's on YouTube, guys? That is on YouTube. All right, now. Um, now, my next question is, top five best MCs? Your choice. <laughs> um, as of current day or all time? All time. All time. Mm -hmm. Tupac, uh, Tupac, NF, Dax, Ty McDonald, and Logic. All right. Yeah. Ooh, all top five good people, too. Legends yeah. in the making. Yeah. All right, now, um... What is the best advice that you have ever been given? Um, don't, well, I mean, my my, my, my family has uh, tried to get me in the military. They're pushing me in the military and all that stuff. My, my dad pulled me aside uh, after that day, and I was just frustrated because everybody was just telling me, you should get in the military, go in the Air Force, do this, do yeah. that. My dad pulled me aside, and he told me this one thing I always remember. He's like, listen, they can tell you all these things that you can do. But at the end of the day, it's what you want to do. Don't let other people's words define your decisions in your life. Wow. So. Your dad's a wise man. Give him a shout out. Oh, and a bald one, too. <laughs> and a what? And a bald one, too. <laughs> oh, man. Give him a shout out. What's dad's name? Uh, Randy Niekase. All right. All right. Next question. Um, now, if you could change anything about the music industry, if it was your world, the ball's in your hand, what would you do? What would you change? about the music industry the meaningless music the meaningless know, the right? the un unnecessary songs that come out because like i mean the the industry is rigged you know like it is like it uh, really six is. nine was talking about it he was like there's a lot of rappers out here that rap better than me mm -hmm. because but the industry is rigged so i'm always going to be richer than you i'm always going to be technically better than you because the industry is rigged wow 
You take all the rigs out, yeah. basically. Six nine don't six nine. He don't rap about nothing. He just rhymes and has really? a really good beat. He has no lyrical meaning behind his words. Wow. That's why I listen to only NF Tom Down and Dax, only lyrical arts because they actually talk about stuff and they actually hits you in your soul and That's what right. you go through. Yeah. All these other rappers, you know. Well, you know what? Uh, rappers and lyricists are two different people. Yeah. Rappers rap, which is being fibbing. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's what. Uh, that's not even true. That's what all the people in uh, school used to say to me. They're like, mm -hmm. "What you mean? Are you a rapper? Like, what is a lyricist?" I'm like, "A lyric. I'm and set apart." The you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The truth. Yeah. The truth. You stand on what you speak. Look, mm -hmm. so help me God. <laughs> <laughs> Put my right hand now, on the Bible. <laughs> this part. Now, uh, this next question is: uh, What is the most trouble that you have ever been in? No. Oh. Just one incident. Doesn't have to be major. Just. Man, uh, when I was uh, 15 years old, uh, I was a uh, naive, gullible, young, young kid. I, I first relationship that I've been in, and uh, <clears throat> probably just something I shouldn't have done. Yeah. Um, being young, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so ended up being that she uh, accused me of uh, had some accusations, yeah. and it kind of could have affected my life really hard, but. At the end of the day, I was proven innocent, but it affected me for over the two years, for over two years, because I went to the, such a deep down spiral of depression, and it changed yeah. me as a person. I mean, I, I have a picture from back then, and you can look at me now, and I look so different. Yeah. You know, I had that evil, that hatefulness inside of me, yeah. but um, luckily through music, you know, that's, that's kind of what pushed it forward more, is uh, luckily through music, I was able to yeah. get all that yeah, evilness and hate out of me, and God was able to flush me out, and, yeah. you know. That's right. So. Well, I'm glad that God made it right. Everything works out in his favor for the good of those who love him. Yes, indeed. So Absolutely. That's, that's a good thing. Yep. All right, now. Um, now, my next question and my last question before I wrap this up, what is next for you? What's next for you on the board? You know you got some more songs you're working on. You want to, you care to share about the next song? <laughs> um. So I, th I think uh, um, I think the next thing for me is going to be getting this uh, another song done. As we're talking about unexpected, you know, a lot of people aren't going to expect it, and how how hard hitting it is, and how know, different right? it is for me. Yeah. Uh, but I got this next song. It's called The List, mm -hmm. and that Ooh. that's kind of going off of that same. You know, you're not going to expect this type of song from me because it's not going to be a stuff I go through like down low melody kind of stuff. No, yeah. it's going to be hard hitting. It's going to be telling Man. you. I'm making a list about all these things that I go through, mm -hmm. and this list is a, all these things on this list is gonna it's gonna be gone here soon. So Man, I'm taking like them out. Making a good yeah. album right there. Mm -hmm. He making a good album. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, this pretty much wraps up our interview. Um, thank you all for watching this week's episode with Nazwas. Please stay tuned next week for another interview with one of Gulf Coast, Mississippi's hottest independent emerging artists. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell us what you thought about today's show. Um, we also want to give a special shout out and thanks to all of our affiliates, sponsors, and our team behind the scenes. You have anybody you want to shout out right now, too? <laughs> uh, just shout out my family. Shout out to my beautiful, lovely wife. Uh, and shout out to all the all the artists out there who's trying actually trying to uh, make truthful music and trying to make impactful music. Yeah. That's right. Truth, music, entertainment. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we are out. Hey, um, now, tell us who hosted the hottest independent interview around. Man, you already know. Drake Music TV and Drake Music Productions. You already know. All right, all right.